Hey there, Louis. Is it a good time for me uh, to put in the air conditioner? Yeah, you bet. Come on in. Oh, by the way, how do you like my tan? Hmm. I don't like it. Really? I love it. <laughs> no kidding. Lou, you look fantastic. A dark, rich, even tan in March. God, that stuff is amazing. The best you can buy. God, look at me compared to you. I look so pale and pasty. You look fine. Uh, why does a sheet? I look like I'm touring with Moomin Shuns. <laughs> you want me to get you a couple bottles? Really? Yeah, thank you. Hey. Hey, honey. Hey, Lou. Hey, Doug. Uh, honey, can I talk to you in the kitchen alone yeah. or something? Oh, you don't have to go anywhere. You know I'm hard of hearing, and I won't read your lips. I promise. <laughs> All right, fine. I lost my job today. What? <laughs> Sorry. You lost your job? Yeah. What happened? Well, I tried to bluff O'Boyle with the FedEx thing, and he didn't bite. He just let me walk out. Well, why the hell were you talking to O'Boyle? Because you kept saying how much heat I had on me and that I was in play. I thought you wanted me to talk to him. Not without preparation, some rehearsal, some index cards. For the love of God, I didn't want you to just wing it. Well, too late. It's already wong. Well, you know what? I mean, so you just go back and tell O'Boyle it was a mistake. You know what? You tell him that you were dehydrated and exhausted. Oh, better yet, tell me you mixed pills and booze and you had a bad reaction. <laughs> You do understand my job is driving. All right. But you know what? Maybe this is not so bad. I mean, they still love you at FedEx. Oh, FedEx. <laughs> hey, Mitch. Doug. Hey, you got another delivery for us? Yep, a 250-pound package of Doug Heffernan. What? I left IPS. Really? Why? Well, let's just say they pushed and I pushed back. Shall we talk? Come on, sure. Come on in my office. And it'd be great if I can get a route in Rego Park. That way I can stop home for lunch, you know? But, hey, not a deal breaker. <laughs> so, why should the FedEx company hire Doug Heffernan? What? What would a Doug Heffernan bring to FedEx? Well, I'd, I'd bring myself. And my lunch if I don't get Rego Park. <laughs> no, I think I'd, uh... Hey, Castaway. Whoa! <laughs> you know, I'd bring a lot of things. I'm a, I'm a real good, dependable driver. You know, I'm... I've got a pleasant personality. I'm relatively hygienic. <laughs> and I've been told I'm quite the cut-up. Cut up, uh huh. And uh, where do you see yourself in the future? Uh, you got a five year plan? Five years? Uh, yeah, I hope to be still delivering packages only in a hovercraft, huh? Hey, package for Mr. Spacely. <laughs> you are quite the cut up. Here's the thing, though we're really not hiring at the moment. What? Yeah, we're a little lean and mean right now, so. Well, you just told me how great it was. How if I was here, I could write my own ticket. That was just friends talking. What am I gonna say? You're the heaviest I've ever seen you. <laughs> I quit my job. Doug, look, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll, I'll leave your application on file. Look, okay. I, I don't want my application on file, man. That's a death warrant. Look, Mitch, I can do this job. I want this job. Look at this. See? Hey, FedEx calling. <laughs> Mitchell, 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 listen to me. I am not leaving this building until you hire me. Now, we both know I am the man for the job. Look in my eyes. See the passion? Now, I know you're thinking deep down inside, I'm going to roll the dice on this kid. Security. 